They can drop 80,000 feet within a matter of a few seconds. Not only that, they can also fly underwater. Michio Kaku just revealed NASA's terrifying discovery on the moon. The moon landing is a controversial topic, but it was indeed a real event. Several powerful countries are now racing to explore the moon. Recent missions have uncovered surprising discoveries about our planet, its satellites, and an individual named Michael. Physicist Michio Kaku has shared unsettling information about a huge metallic object on the moon larger than Hawaii. This has triggered a global competition among nations, creating a mix of fear and excitement for the future. Why haven't there been further moon missions since Apollo 17 in 1972? The Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969 was a significant event, but with advancements today, lunar missions have become more feasible. Michio Kaku has commented on the efforts to replicate this historic moment. China recently sent a robotic spacecraft to collect lunar samples, earning recognition as the third country to achieve this after the United States and the Soviet Union. Kaku acknowledges the military considerations in space exploration, particularly the development of hypersonic drones by countries like Russia and China. While moon missions have limited military value due to their short duration, the arms race on Earth and the advancement of hypersonic drones raise concerns. The establishment of the U.S. Space Force addresses the importance of protecting our significant stake in outer space, especially our satellites, which play a crucial role in our economy and telecommunications. It's essential to ensure their security without escalating into an uncontrolled arms race. Private individuals like Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have become key drivers in advancing space exploration. Musk envisions a future where humans inhabit other planets, while Bezos sees space as a means to relocate heavy industry and pollution. Their involvement has sparked renewed interest in and potential for lunar tourism. These developments, along with China's lunar missions and their military implications, are shaping the future of space travel and our understanding of the universe. However, we must also consider the arms race on Earth, particularly the growing significance of hypersonic drones as weapons of choice for superpowers like Russia and China. While reaching the moon holds limited military value, it's important to be cautious about potential conflicts on Earth happening at an accelerated pace. Finally, there have been intriguing and puzzling discoveries in the realm of space exploration. In a recent study, scientists made a remarkable discovery about the moon. They have confirmed the existence of water trapped within small glass beads found scattered on the lunar surface. These beads were carefully collected by China's Xiong E-5 lander during its successful mission to explore the moon. The Nature Geoscience Journal recently published a significant discovery regarding lunar water and its implications for space exploration. A team of researchers analyzed 117 glass beads from a lunar soil sample collected by China's Chung E-5 lander. They employed advanced techniques like electron microscopy, microanalysis, and Roman spectroscopy to confirm the presence of water within these beads. This finding provides valuable insights into the nature of water on the moon. Scientists have been studying lunar water for many years to understand its origin, distribution, and evolution within the moon's soil. The recent findings significantly contribute to our knowledge of lunar water and have important implications for future lunar exploration and our understanding of water reservoirs on airless bodies. China's Cheng Yi 5 mission, launched in December 2020, was a crucial step in lunar exploration. The mission aimed to collect the youngest lunar samples and successfully retrieve glass beads containing water using a robotic arm. The scarcity of water findings on the moon was due to the long gap between surface missions prior to Cheng Yi 5. The last soft landing occurred in 1976 with the Soviet Union's Luna 24 mission, leaving a significant time lapse. However, the future holds promise with initiatives like NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program and upcoming missions, such as the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, which aims to land near the moon's south pole in late 2023 to search for ice. American scientists have also made a fascinating discovery about the presence of water on the moon thanks to NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. For the first time, scientists have discovered water in the sunlit regions of the moon, suggesting that water could be present throughout the lunar surface, contrary to our previous understanding. Dr. Hannibal and her team made this intriguing discovery using NASA's Airborne Observatory, SOFIA. 
Using the advanced Sophia aircraft equipped with a powerful infrared telescope, scientists were able to observe the moon without atmospheric interference. They specifically focused on Claudius Crater, the second largest crater visible from Earth, located in the moon's southern hemisphere. What intrigued them was the presence of water molecules in this crater, contributing to our expanding knowledge of lunar water distribution. These details can be found in the journal Nature Astronomy, showcasing how our understanding of the moon has continued to evolve since the Apollo missions. When the Apollo missions first set foot on the moon, it was widely believed that there was no water present. However, the rocks being brought back from those missions hinted at the existence of water, but these findings were disregarded as potential contamination at that time. Now, with the recent revelation of lunar water, our understanding of the moon's composition and its potential for future exploration has been revolutionized. These successful missions continue to uncover new mysteries that capture our attention. The discovery of a new lunar mineral will reshape our knowledge of the moon, which has been stagnant since the 1970s. Lunar samples are invaluable for understanding the evolution of our planet and providing crucial insights into the origin and history of Earth. Scientists are comparing these recent discoveries with samples collected during the Apollo missions and the Soviet Union's lunar robotic landers, further enhancing our understanding of the moon. The Chung'e 5 mission collected approximately 1.73 kilograms of lunar samples from the moon's surface. The collected lunar samples were safely brought back to Earth for further examination. The analysis of these samples has yielded significant discoveries and advancements in our understanding of the moon's composition, geology, and history. During a recent mission to the moon, Chinese scientists made an impressive finding, a new lunar mineral called Chung Eastite Y. This discovery adds to our knowledge of Earth's satellites and represents a significant achievement in lunar exploration. Chong Eastite Y is a crystal of new phosphate material, becoming the sixth mineral discovered from the moon by humanity and the first one discovered by China. It has a chemical association with a more common phosphate mineral, myrolite, found in lunar and meteorite samples. Scientists have categorized it as a member of the bryonite subgroup, which is also found in meteorites and on the moon. Interestingly, this crystal contains helium-3, a special ingredient that holds the potential to revolutionize our energy needs. Scientists believe helium-3 could be a crucial element for powering advanced nuclear fission reactors. The recent discovery of helium-3 on the moon has raised both excitement and challenges. While helium-3 is rare on Earth, it appears to be abundant on the moon. This has sparked discussions about the potential for an inevitable race to access and utilize the moon's resources. However, it is still too early to determine the financial value of this lunar fuel source. Extracting and transporting the crystals needed for power from the moon would be a complex and costly endeavor. Scientists have long been fascinated by helium-3 and its potential for advancing nuclear fusion, which could provide clean and limitless energy for humanity. However, creating a fusion reactor capable of generating enough energy to harness helium-3 remains a significant technological challenge. The prospect of finding helium-3 on the moon is exciting, as it opens up possibilities for a future where this valuable resource could play a role in powering our world in a sustainable and environmentally friendly manner. Helium-3 is an exciting prospect for safer and cleaner energy compared to traditional nuclear processes. Unlike nuclear fission, which generates radioactive waste, helium-3 fusion produces significantly less radiation in nuclear waste. This has led to an increased interest in using fusion as a more efficient and safer method for generating nuclear power. One of the long-standing questions about the moon has been its composition, and recent evidence has provided concrete answers. The latest study, published in the journal Nature, reveals that the moon's inner core is a solid ball with a density similar to iron, surrounded by a liquid core. This finding sheds light on the formation of our solar system. In 2011, NASA's GRAIL project played a pivotal role in changing our understanding of the moon. Two spacecraft were placed in orbit around the moon, and as they flew over different areas, they measured the gravitational forces between them. This data enabled scientists to determine the position of each probe in relation to the other, providing valuable insights into the moon's gravitational field and its internal structure. Seismic readings provide insights into the composition of celestial objects. NASA's Apollo missions collected seismic data but couldn't determine the moon's inner core. Recent advancements allowed NASA to confirm an iron-rich core beneath the silicate mantle, extending at least 1,700 miles deep. Arthur Bryode and colleagues use space missions and laser data to track moon gravity and distance changes. Combining this with GRAIL mission data, they found a solid iron-like core. 
This discovery enhances our understanding of the moon's structure and its history of ancient asteroid impacts. The discovery of a solid inner core on the moon challenges our understanding of its magnetic field and supports the idea of a global mantle overturn. What are your views on this? Let us know in the comments section below and like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.